Hello, Texas. That was, that was my Texas accent. All right, so I'm here with Robert, and if you haven't seen his videos, go to famoustoastery.1851franchise.com. So one of the target areas for growth is the state of Texas. Um, what attracts you to Texas, and why would Texas be perfect for a famous toastery? Well, I spent a lot of time in Texas, and um, you know, I'm obviously a big fan of breakfast, and I, I have a hard time finding that better breakfast type of uh, environment. And it's, you know, it's vast, there's a lot, it, it's, it's got a lot of culture from all over the world, I feel. Um, they know food. And it's not just, you know, it, whether it's Houston, whether it's Dallas, whether it's Austin, whether it's El Paso, um, it's bleeding for what we do. And we see it, we see people calling in and, and, and people wanting to get more information about how do I bring this to Houston, how do I bring it to, to Austin, et cetera. And it's just been an exciting market. I visited a bunch of times looking at sites and we see, you know, it's very easy to look at um, competitors. You, you just go on to certain, you go on to Google and you look them up. And we just don't see there's a lot there. And what we do, they have never seen. So we're very excited to bring it to, to Texas. And we're at the point where we'd even do a corporate store out there. Okay, so talk about this ideal candidate. And, and every single franchise is gonna have the same ideal candidate. But in this scenario, do you want them to be multi-unit from the from the get-go, and do you want them to to have a plan to scale fast, so that since you're Charlotte-based, do you do you need more scalability fast to impact unit-level economics, or have you found with a brand like this, it just doesn't matter because Texas is craving better breakfast? Yeah, it's a, it's a it's a loaded question because there's two ways we look at it. One, if somebody wants to go and open one store, we're going to support them, right? Especially if it's in a new area. If they're passionate, we think they're the right person. We're pers we're people-driven. No, you know, you, of course you want someone that's going to grow the brand. But the truth is, if you open up one store, the, the, everyone sees the, the, the opportunity and the, phone, the calls come in. But when you look at it from a mathematical standpoint, you, you want to be in a position that you can scale it up because you make the market. Now, you're the market maker in, call it Houston, and you want to be able to open up in Missouri City or another town quickly before someone else starts to do that. And you want it like anything else. You want to own your market. So... If, you have to be in a position, if you want to own that market, to be able to scale. So we've talked about supply and demand, and if the economy is in fact getting better, and we'll, we'll see what happens out of the presidential election and what kind of impact that has on, on the economy, but does real estate become more challenging for you, or have you found that because of the way that you've structured the brand that, that you have flexibility in the spaces that you can go into? Yeah, like we, we, you know, what we've spoken to in the past, because we offset parking, that's one of the big things we have. And most, if you look at most centers, um, we can go into anything, whether it be standalone or a strip center. Um, we, there's not many places that just do breakfast. So we're, you know, 7 a.m. to 3 p.m. So you offset everyone's, as a developer, and I've done development, you always want the offset. You want your pizza place, you want your donut place, you want a coffee place, et cetera. So we're that guy. Um, and also, we, we're just really good at the real estate game. We've been doing it for years. Um, and even in tight markets, we've been able to do really well in getting real estate and that real estate that works. Because anybody can find great real estate for a lot more money than you should be paying. But it's really important to get the right economics because it's all about the numbers. At the end of the day, we love the brand. It serves great food, but you have to make money. So you have to make sure those economics work. And that's what we're just really good at. So we've talked about the pipeline before in these videos, and, and the pipeline is very, very full. So Texas, if you want in on this, you, you better bite fairly quickly or else uh, the units might be taken up. Thanks for watching, and for more information, visit famoustoastery.1851franchise.com.